time. Today is Monday, January 20th. It is a cycle day A. And also Martha Luther King Day. Take a look at this short video and why we celebrate this day. Once upon a time, there's a man named Martin Luther King Jr. It's funny to think about because now we know his name so well, but at one time, he was just a kid. Like, maybe you're a kid watching this. Well, he was a kid too. Well, maybe you're a grown up. That's okay too. Well, our kids are welcome here. I don't discriminate. Martin Luther King grew up to be a great man, of course, but things were all that great in the world while he was growing up. Not everybody was treated like they were somebody. And I believe that you should treat everybody like it's their birthday. But they didn't do that. People looked at the color of their skin. And that's how they decided if they were friends or not. Not cool, man. That didn't make him feel good. That didn't make anybody feel good. But his parents helped him grow up. He went to church. He learned about love. He grew up to be a minister to help a lot of people. He did all sorts of cool stuff. He helped a lot of people learn about love, too. But still, he looked around and said, things should be better. He wanted to change things, so he did stuff. He decided, instead of spreading the hate, he would spread the love. He wanted to bring people together. Where people were hurting, he stepped in to help. He marched with them, he walked with them. He walked arm in arm with everyone. Sometimes it didn't go well, but he kept going. Sometimes he ended up in prison, but he kept going. Some people didn't like him, but he kept going. Some days were hard, but he kept going. Love does that, it just keeps going, even when things are dark. And, well, I don't like this part of the story, but things did get pretty dark. Someone who didn't agree with him, shot him. He died in April 1968. Now, get, get, get pressing it. Why are you telling us this sad story? Come on. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it happened. I don't like that happened. Now, I gotta tell you something. When things aren't awesome, it can be tough. And things will always be awesome. But your response can be. Martin Luther King's response? It was awesome. Today I just wanted us to think about this. Isn't it cool that we can change things? Like any of us, anybody. He dreamed and he changed things. And he dreamed and he kept sharing his dreams. They became not just his dream, a lot of people's dream. Like this one. I have a dream that little black boys and black girls will join hands with white boys and white girls and become sister and brothers. That's a pretty good dream. Let's dream like that. That could change things. I thought we could start the day off with a joke. What do you get when you cross a vampire with a snowman? I have no idea. Frostbite! Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Now let's check out the core values corner for today's information about knowledge. Bighorn sheep are our animal this month. Scientists have recently confirmed that bighorn sheep and others passed on knowledge about migration, which means moving from place to place and from generation to generation. These animals show our big idea of knowledge, learning something new so you can be better at what you do. Take another look at today's knowledge video. So hey, in case you didn't know, I'm Lawson, which means you just learned something new. Boom. This whole learning thing must be a trend or something because I just heard the coolest story from my friend's kid sister, Rita. During Christmas break, her family moves into this house with an unfinished basement. And Rita's all, I'm gonna turn it in to an art studio. And her dad's like, I can't drive a nail without pounding my thumb. So, while her dad's away at work, Rita starts thinking about just how awesome her art studio is gonna be. She says, I'm gonna build a 10 foot long workbench and paint every single wall a different color, like cobalt and fuchsia and lavender. And she says, I'm gonna build an amazing snack bar for when I get hungry and build a special nook just for naps. Totally doable. So, 
Rita starts hauling all the things she thinks she'll need down to the basement. Like boards and and nails and and a, and a power drill and a, and 56 cans of paint and oh and shag carpeting. And she's totally finished with the whole art studio by the time her dad gets home from work. And her dad's like, uh, Uncle Jerry could help you out. And Uncle Jerry's totally cool with helping her learn. He's like, start here. And Rita says, seriously? But she reads, and she learns how to use a hammer. Adios mios, huh? And, and how to use a, a power drill and, and work out a design. And finally, Uncle Jerry steps back and says, you got this, kiddo. And then they get ready to build the whole art studio together. And Rita's dad is super impressed. Rita tells him, hey, dad, maybe I can teach you a thing or two. And then they get started for real. And this time, Rita knows exactly what to do. Watch this. So kids, I hope this helps you remember that knowledge is learning something new so you can be better at whatever you do. I gotta get better at keeping ice packs around. See you guys next time. This is a, a, a reminder that book a book and reading week ends today. Mm -hmm. Anyone who participated should finish collecting the money you raised. Return your envelopes to the teacher Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. We want to Wish a happy birthday to Cody in Mrs. Amos's class. And finally, for lunch today, choice one, chicken filet sandwich, and choice two, Salisbury steak with dinner roll. As always, Mannheim, remember to be a star today and strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. Respect people and property. Have a, Have wonderful, a wonderful day, day man. man.